Welcome back to the city of Caledonia in Going Medieval. Now the last uh, episode we uh, had a poor tune fix coming into our uh, village. He was severely injured and he had uh, some uh, bandit slavers who were uh, chasing him. And they have decided to pay us a visit. So in this episode let's see if our uh, little defensive post up here will be sufficient to uh, keep them away. We might find other ways to defend ourselves against them. Who knows? It depends on where they end up on the map. Let's for instance say that they spawn down here. We could uh, take advantage of this uh, hill here. However, uh, there are many, many ramps involved. So we have to be careful. Are there any ramps behind here? Actually, there's just one ramp going up there as far. Oh, there's one there as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, they might spawn over here. Who knows? We shall see. Let's remove the uh, roofs and uh, scroll down a bit. Betabyte is finishing the staircase. This is good. This is good. We need to be a little bit careful with what we do here. Tune fix is praying. We we'll probably have to pray every day. The table wasn't done until now. Wow. That's why we couldn't see the uh, the trees properly. Uh, we should probably increase this to 12 now that we have uh, more villagers. This one also needs to be increased to 20 now, because uh, some of the researches that we want do require 20. Uh, I'm not sure which one we want to take next. Uh, I know I would like fletching at some point. Wooden weaponry? Nah, I think tailoring is the next one to take. Maybe brewing, actually. Brewing and preserving food and then tailoring. Depending on how fast they can do it, since we might need tailoring before winter. Although, there's also the matter of... Uh, what we can do in regards to... Um, what we will loot from our uh, visitors. Why did we win, of course? But I'm not that worried about us not winning. Where are you going now? That's kind of a weird way to go. I don't want you to harvest that. Ah, they brought it with them. Who would have thought? Is there a ramp up there? There's a ramp up there. There doesn't seem to be a ramp. No. Well, okay, they could go around and then up there. Okay.
They are coming imminently. Violent extortionists. The swarthy jailers wanted your villager tune fix, and they wanted them now. They had to pay for their crimes, or your whole village would pay. It was up to you. Can surrender tune fix back to those hunting them, but I don't think so. Caledonia's defiant settlers refused to bow to the assailants' demands, and uh, that means we are going to be uh, attacked. Caledonia folk took up arms, making ready for battle. Oh, blah blah blah, this is a short tutorial of how to do things. Um, so they appeared down there. They're not going to do anything just yet. But I think I will draft the uh, villagers regardless. And uh, let's see here. Databyte. I would like you to stand uh, there. Sydney, I would like you to stand there. Peps, how about you stand there and Tunefix, you can stand uh, there. Might be a good idea for you to stand the right way. You know? This should be rather easy, actually. <laughs> hey, they're coming. I like that. Doo -doo Easy enough. To do it. Can you guys take that guy out? I don't think so. Maybe. Miss? Miss? There's a nice trail of blood here. Okay, uh, let's undraft everyone. Let's see, what is these things? Flimsy... Oh, that is really, really bad. That one is nice. I think I'm just gonna forbid that one, because we don't really need it. And I'm not going to bother uh, burying that person. This one, it's it's okay. So is that? Yeah, that one is nice. That one is absolutely horrid, but I'll take it anyways. Now these guys would be nice to get rid of because I don't think the villagers are going to be happy if they. Uh, to run around. Let's put them into the waste. Or actually, let's not put them into the waste. Let's... Um, this is horrible. Um, let's make a dumping stockpile down there, clear all, and allow human carcasses. And... Uh, Uh, 
can you prioritize hauling? There is a stockpile here. Ah, enemy corpse. Perhaps just get them into the stockpile down there. As for the corpse down here, I think we'll just uh, forbid that. I, I don't particularly see any need to give these guys a proper burial. Don't want to waste resources on that right now. Uh, we need to cut more trees. like to uh, start planning out some uh, proper defenses for the village. Ooh, that's quite dark. have an idea here actually. The one thing that we do need is to deal with um, getting a proper kitchen. I think we need to uh, up the priority of uh, research. So Sydney, you're going to be working on research for a bit. It helps that we have four people. Speaking of which, let's remove uh, these because we have uh, we have to build this building a bit larger. And I'm also wondering if we should add a second floor to it. I mean, this side is easy enough when it comes to a wall. It's just Basically building a wall all the way up here, and uh, we have a wall. Um, then denying them the access from the other side here, that's going to be a bit more problematic. Uh, so what I'm wondering is if I should just build a ditch here. Because that doesn't solve the uh, large area up here, which is extensively large. And uh, will cause me some kind of a headache or five. Because I don't know exactly what I am going to do about that. I'm going to have to have a large wall there. Okay. <clears throat> That's one too far out. I wonder if it is possible for me to build this so that there is actually room for making separate bedrooms. That would be very nice. And I mean one, two, wall, one, two.
hole. It is, but I have to build it like uh, that uh, then. Oh, wait. And then... Well... I'm not sure if this is a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea just yet. Can I select several things here? Ah. Yes. Bed, bed. So we'll have a we'll have a, a common bedroom still because um, there is the matter of having enough um, Sydney's almost done sleeping. Need to see the roof here. So Beta Bite Beta Bite Berry. What an excellent nickname. Okay, now you guys have to there must certainly there must be uh oh this one very good now we need a wooden floor and we should probably also add a couple of windows here. Like so. And of course, let's also not forget that it would probably be a good idea to have some wall torches. There we go. They are building more efficiently and faster now, that's for sure. I think we need to remove this as well. We don't want that just up by the buildings. Our crops are doing nicely. That is good. We're also doing okay-ish when it comes to uh, food. 14 prepared meals, and we have plenty of uh, berries and mushrooms for our stews. Now, they don't seem to be terribly concerned with having to have uh, meat. Now, we also want to have a roof. Um... Yeah, since those are that way and these are that way, might as well build this one uh, that same way as well. And just to make sure, we should probably also get some uh, beds in here. 
it's gonna be a little while until we get more settlers it's gonna be in summer so we have a couple of days left for that because i'm pretty sure we won't get any settlers uh, or any more settlers during spring as I mentioned in episode 1, I think, uh, it's usually one Settler event per season. I would like to have a basement. Yeah, basement is actually going to be fairly important now. You just saw that lots of stews rotted on the stockpile. And that is not acceptable. And that will be very, very much solved if we can get a basement. Um, hmm. I build no that is not a good location for it because the thing with the basement is that might be a good idea why is there sticks on here I don't think I've accepted sticks on that one anyhow um, let's deconstruct And this stockpile, let's shrink it like that. Now we can have a staircase going down there. So we'll also do some mining here. And Pep seems to be uh, hauling stuff to the stockpile, and I am quite content with that. So uh, we'll just let him do that so that we can get rid of a lot of stuff that's out in the uh, wilderness. Uh, if we can find shrooms and herbs, we'll uh, pick uh, those. Now, digging takes uh, some uh, time. Do we have anyone who is um, I'm going to put beta byte on two? Sydney needs to continue writing. I'm going to put tune fix back up on two there, just to help out with it. Can I mine out that tile without removing the floor? I'm pretty sure I can. Now, we also want to have... I think we'll do a clay stair here, because I don't really... Um... Well, I have no issues with that. The best, of course, would be to have the staircase there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, let's have a wooden floor there and then we can also mine out uh, that one uh, we need to deconstruct uh, the floor there and then we also need to shrink the stockpile like so hmm we need more stockpile for various uh 
not important things. So let's build another one here. Clear all. Um, material. A. Clay. Sticks and wood. Probably also coal and limestone. Not that I think we're going to have a lot of that currently. And then this stockpile here. We can remove clay, limestone, hay, sticks, wood, and coal. That way they should move those over there. I don't... I, it takes forever to decompose. One year. Perfect, and then we can build our clay staircase. We still up. You're researching. We have 11. What's the temperature like in there now? Twenty-three. Okay, that, that's okay. It's a nasty uh, summer day or a spring day, this. Low temperature, rain, but it's uh, four in the morning, so... Kind of makes sense. If we now go down... I don't know how safe this is going to be, but I want to dig out this entire area underneath the floor. And then we need to build some wooden beams underneath there, just to keep the uh, the floor up. Might be enough with a wooden beam going all the way down that way. That would be useful. Well, you know that's that that might be a bit inconvenient. I don't need that, but I do need a campfire. Um,
I think I'll extend this one. Sydney is getting more intelligent, that's good. Research available. Okay, uh, now we can take furniture. It would give us wooden hay beds. Then again, everyone is happy, so... I think we want to go for tailoring, to be honest. Food preservation. Brewing would be... Uh, I think... No, actually, that one is, is uh, important. We need to unlock brewing, and then we'll go for tailoring after that. decent amount of limestone from this. How much limestone does it cost to build a wall? 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay. We will build a limestone wall here then. Now I don't know if I can build a great door. Well then. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll build a double door there then. Should give Pep something to do. Tick a tick a tick a tick a tick a tick. Two, so we are getting to the very uh, lowest level of stability here, but um, not too worried about that because uh, as soon as we get a support beam in, everything should be back at stability four, like this. we want to build a room for brewing. We don't necessarily need a room for it. Um, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go down into the basement. And um, we'll build a floor down here. Could do that in limestone. I don't think we will do so. Now we'll also make a stockpile down here. Uh, 
like that, clear all. And let's see, food. We'll have meals down there. We'll have raw stuff down there. We'll also have stimulants down there, so all kinds of foods. Carcasses, we'll take deer, hair, and wolf. We'll not put any human carcasses down there. I don't think we are uh, going to eat those. Material, we'll put herbs and simple healing kits and healing kits and advanced healing kits. I don't know about vinegar, but we'll put vinegar down there as well. I think that's it. Now I need to remember that I need to expand that stockpile rather than building a new one. And the next thing we are going to do is... I would like to go back up to this stockpile, clear all, and uh, deconstruct it. If you would be so kind as to, uh, can I shift click? No. Ah, the floor there disappeared. Which means that it is Definitely a time to build a wooden beam down here. And Peps, I want you to prioritize constructing that. wooden beam, please. Is that down in the basement? I am not sure. Yes, it is. Perhaps. Wooden beam. Not other stuff. Wooden beam. Thirteen construction skill. Okay, now let's get back up and have a look at the stability here. Three, four, three. Much better. Uh, copy this and build floors there. I wish I could see the temperature down here. Spare room. Temperature 5.9. Much better. So, stats decomposes in 18 days. Now, that is much, much, much more uh, interesting. Even this one, which isn't on a floor tile. It is, actually. Now this is looking much more, much more, much more promising. Oh, 
We even have our first little part of a wall here. And we're done. So, now we need to finish the floors down here. Like that, and then expand this zone like so, and like so. Now we'll have all of our food in a little cold cellar instead, which is much more uh, agreeable. Now the other thing we should do is, of course, build a brewing station. And I don't think it's a problem to build it up here, because we don't really need the... Um, Let's build it there. Nah, I'll build it here. This stockpile, we can not copy it, but we can expand it to go out like that. My headset turned off again. Come on. There we go. Research available. We have 15. Uh, we need 20 because we need tailoring. With those things done, uh, let's prepare a room for the tailor, shall we? I don't remember how large the tailoring table is, but I'm pretty sure that this will suffice. I need to wait until I uh, have the um, table up so I can see. Ah, our first harvest is in. We have a lot of clay. Uh, I think I want to hunt a couple of these. Oh, they do have bones, do they? Huh. Imagine that. Sorry about going quiet there for a bit. I had to sneeze. I'd rather not blow anyone's eardrums. Now we can make a rough wine. We can make ale or we can make beer. Uh, for now, I think we'll go with uh, rough wine until we have 12. But we do need to... Um, Harvest some more red currant. That should not be a big problem. I mean, there's plenty of it around here. And we can always make another farm for that as well. I suppose we should. We'd make a farm for red currant. And we should also make a farm field for barley.
flax. I don't think we need that yet. Tall grass, we're fine. Herbs, yeah. That looks good. And with a new day there, I think it is a good uh, time to end this episode. So, if you do have any comments or questions, then please do feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for uh, joining me, and I shall see you all in the next one.